Yo, what's up, fam? Hey, man, we hope everybody's doing good. Uh, God bless y'all, man. Hey, I got two guests with me tonight, y'all. Look, look, this, this way, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, very quickly, but we just wanted to say, man, we couldn't get everybody. Uh, but this is two of our uh, seniors, uh, uh, of course, graduates, class of 2020. Uh, for those that don't, you know, we will have our graduation service uh, this upcoming Sunday at our 11 o'clock worship service. Uh, our very own Pastor uh, Pastor Kerry is going to be preaching. And uh, so we, uh, yeah, we just want to take this time, man, to celebrate our graduates. Uh, y'all, Hey, y'all, this is the class of 2020. They lit, you know. Uh, do y'all understand what they had to go through? Huh? Do y'all understand that? But very quickly, man, we uh, we just going to introduce our uh, our seniors. Uh, you know, what I'm saying those that have been a part of our youth ministry. Uh, like I said, man, we 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 didn't we couldn't get everybody included, uh, but we just wanted to kind of reach out and and just kind of get the perspective and uh, ideas and thought processes behind our class of 2020 this year. But uh, y'all, whoever wants to introduce themselves first, you know. Um, I'm Kashina Butler, and I recently just graduated from Robinson Early College High School and RCC at the same time. I graduated with both a high school diploma and an associate's degree, and I'll be attending Evangel University in um, August. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Evangel. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Caleb Hammonds, and I'm a, well, I just graduated from Olympia Senior High, and I'll be attending RCC next semester or next year. Yep. Yeah. So whoop, whoop. Mm -hmm. RCC, baby. Yeah, I'm RCC alumni, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Same. Uh, uh, love to St. Paul where y'all at. Pronounce with and sit down. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, uh, for real. But uh but man, appreciate y'all man sacrificing your time coming out and uh uh, uh like I said man, we're proud of you guys and unfortunately everything ended the way it did. Um but um, I, we're here now, you know. Yeah. So, uh, but we just want to create some dialogue and some conversations. Uh, uh, but let me let me let me start off by saying: so officially, high school season is a wrap. It's done. It's over. It's over. You know what I'm saying? Over. So, uh, Kayla, you want me to start with Kashina, or you want me to start with you? Don't matter. Okay. Let's let's we'll go ahead up uh, Kashina first. So, uh, <laughs> Kashina, so tell me about girl. So, of course, the transition, you know what I'm saying, 12, 13 years. Mm -hmm. uh, in your case, of course, early college. Uh, what are some of the things that you really hope hopeful for going into the future of adulthood slash college, whatever you want to say there? <laughs> um, well, I think, I think what's really important right now in my perspective is looking towards the future as being successful mm -hmm. because it's hard finding a passion and being successful at the same time, like finding what you're passionate about and be, being able to make a career out of it. True. Because all we've known for the last, well, in my case, 13 years or 14 years has been public school. Mm -hmm. And now you're going into a new endeavor of, it's just um, like, it's a whole different ball game now. Mm -hmm. It's like you're on your own mm -hmm. and, um, it's just, it's scary not knowing what's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to be successful. You don't know um, what jobs are going to come. You don't know what the economy is going to look like, especially here recently. Mm -hmm. We really don't know anything to expect. So it's really, exactly. it's really, it's yeah. scary. But and that's, I think that's my biggest key to be successful, not just in my life, but in God's life. What, what does God want me to do at the same time? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I got a question I'm gonna ask as the piggyback off that was Caleb gets done. <laughs> yeah, as far as what are some of the things that you hopeful for uh, coming out of the high school years, coming into another phase of adulthood, yeah. college, and that's uh, some of the things you're hoping for and probably hesitations. Oh yeah, uh, that type of thing. Probably be like starting off college, I guess, would be a little scary. Mm -hmm. I guess you're going around, going to a new school, I guess. Being around a bunch of people that's probably going to be older than you and younger than you, or same age as you, probably, mm -hmm. and definitely like the struggle of finding what career you want to do, what you want to be, what God wants you to be. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out, trying to figure out what God has planned for you. Sure. And yeah, that's probably. About so it. watch this, y'all. So how? Uh, of course, you know. So I think everybody has their inclinations there. Uh, like Ashina said, maybe passions, giftings, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. But where is it that you almost 
instead of rather than pursuing maybe human ambition, uh, at the same time, you, you try to pursue something that you love, uh, but you're a divine assignment at the same time. Right. You know what I'm saying? How do you kind of, uh, obviously, you know what I'm saying, taking SATs and, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying, trying to get scholarships, that type of thing. How do y'all kind of navigate that space thought thought process-wise? I would say probably prayer, a lot of prayer. Yeah. And trying to just figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of choices out there man yeah, I mean you know I yeah, know. seriously. just pray I guess I yeah. think that's... another thing is like not even just prayer and like just walking in faith cause sure. that, that's a big step like mm -hmm. looking for which way to go and like a direction wise and asking God where he wants you to be that's kind of like where does he want me to be because mm -hmm. sometimes it's not necessarily clear that's why a lot of people go in the um what they start is starting degrees, mm -hmm. which is like basic degrees that you can transfer over or go in a different career sure. with it because you're undecided. Mm -hmm. Um so I think it's just a faith walk. You you walk and God just gives you little bits and pieces to the puzzle and it's kinda like you add it on to it. Now, did y'all hear that? <laughs> little bits and pieces to the puzzle. Oh, Warren looks be like, "Damn, this girl ain't no so this no girl ain't quite yet." But yeah, yeah, you right, man. Yeah, and really, that's what it is. It's, it's really a faith walk, you know what I'm saying? And and, and even and I'll, I'll say this, uh, and I think God really and the Holy Spirit kind of, of course, they, you know, what I'm saying they shape us and mold us in His own image there, so they know what we're capable of love and and not. Uh, but let me ask you: Do y'all think, quote unquote, purpose? Do y'all think it's really um, something that we innately born with? Is it something that we just discover over time? Ooh. I, I don't know. I think God gave us certain gifts. Sure. Because he wants us to do certain things. So I don't know. He He gave us these gifts and things he knew made us like to do so we can... So we can do what he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. gave us these right, gifts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 absolutely. So watch this. Dr. Miles Monroe, he's got a quote, man, off of his book. Um, it's an old book, but it's a goodie. Uh, where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. Yeah. And so and so now we get we we may have certain, you know what I'm saying? You you might sign up for that major this this semester. Two semesters from now, semester from now, you like, man, I don't think I want to do that. Now you spend all the energy, all the time, all the money, it ain't really something that you want to do. You know, but it's really, that's what it is. It's really a faith walk. It is. Yeah, for, for my situation, I think, because doing high school and college at the same time, mm -hmm. I was kind of forced to pick at first where I wanted to go. And for years, I thought I was going into a medical profession because I just seen myself in a healing perspective, like not just, um, in a, a like a physical realm but just like helping people as much as I could and I couldn't figure out why but once God started allowing me to take specific classes and um just starting off as the base of my major uh I started figuring out this is not where God's calling me to so it was kind of like that purpose I felt like was inside of me he was like no he says I place that purpose inside of you but you're using it in the wrong direction mm. So that's kind of like the abuse thing, like sure. definitely sure. picking up from the wrong, um, I guess you can say the wrong pile, the wrong basket. You're just, you kind of, you're trying to put the physical things in your own perspective. Mm -hmm. Whereas God's saying, just trust me and look to me and I'll give you all the answers. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's like really a big thing for our generation to understand right now because it's hard mm -hmm. you know nobody can tell you where to go or what to do or what profession to go in because all in all you can do you can drive but you'll be miserable mm -hmm. doing it every day mm -hmm. so so, continue, so talk to the talk to the camera for the one that's vacillating navigating i have the slightest clue what i need to do <laughs> i feel like i got an unction but but lord is this really you so so talk to the other one on the other end there okay from uh, just from I I'm gonna give my testimony for a minute if okay. that's okay. Um, but for me, uh, for years I thought I was going into the medical profession, and it wasn't until the year of 2018 I traveled to Washington D.C. and I was able to meet a bunch of Native American students that were like me. And while I was there, I realized like I love people, but I don't love this profession. 
And um, for a long time, I fought with myself with that. And when I got back, you know, I kept on telling God, I was like, God, I just love the people there. I don't love the profession. So what do you want me to do? Not even like a couple hours late, a day later, Brother Juan was calling me, asking me to speak at the church one Sunday. And as scared as I knew I was, God gave me confirmation in that moment that he had called me to people rather than a profession. Mm -hmm. So from there on out, God was just showing me in different directions where to take me. Don't take, um, don't underestimate your own feelings that you have. Because sometimes God will place you in scenarios. For instance, he placed me in a chemistry class. I chose to take it, but it was God's plan for me to take it. To realize that's not where my heart was at. It wasn't in chemistry. And mm -hmm. I, Lord knows I would have needed that if I would have went into the medical field. But it just, that one class showed me that that's where not, that was not in the direction God was calling me to. So he starts placing you in positions where it is not just um it's it's not just little it's not just little mm -hmm. mistakes mm -hmm. that's the word um it's not little mistakes he's just allowing you to make it's him showing you this is the wrong way and a lot of the times he'll even give you um assurance if that is the direction you need to go he'll keep on confirming back and back and saying this is where i want you to go and so i feel like that's where um that's where the difference is. Mm -hmm. That's the assurance because um, God really does confirm and he declines things as well. Um, and this is not for you, but wait in due season. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's where I was. That's good. That's good. That's what's up. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, so, yo, uh, Caleb. Now listen here, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're a handsome young man, Mr. Fabio looking, but but black hair, brown hair, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, 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 check, this out. so check this out. What what do you think that you, you that you got away with in high school, but you don't think it's really going to float coming into the whole college season? <laughs> it's probably going to be like studying, probably. St okay. Studying, yeah. I didn't okay. study as much as I need to in high school. Well, you're procrastinating? Like a... Well, I wouldn't say a procrastinator, but... I was just, I would take my time. I wouldn't study. That oh, much. you just gifted like that. You didn't have to study. No, no, I, I didn't study. Okay. I just wouldn't study enough. I, I got you. I would study every once in a while. I okay. study enough to make a good grade. You got gotcha. 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 I memorize. Yeah, I can memorize. Oh, okay. like, I can look at a piece of paper and memorize what to say. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. You got like that photogenic memory kind yeah. of. But okay. Give it like a day is gone, my dad. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. Just long enough to take the test. Just long enough to take the test. Remember, I'm out here taking it all away. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but what, what about you, Jane? Oh, hey, y'all check this out. This girl, she getting ready to, I mean, move. Where'd you, where was Missouri. it? Missouri. Rob Coda, Missouri. <laughs> ain't gonna have since Carol there. You know, hey, ain't gonna have Shania there. She ain't gonna have nobody. Hey, I'm taking a big walk of faith. <laughs> Boy, I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, procrastination is definitely mm -hmm. my big because I keep myself occupied at all times. I'm always doing something, whether it's in church, whether it's in school. Mm -hmm. I just keep myself occupied. So some stuff, I'm like, um, I put that on the back burner and I can kind of, you know, do it later. Sure. And then I end up like overwhelming myself, like mm -hmm. having to do all this work. So I feel like that is not going to fly, especially in the degree I'm going. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 Them, them cramming now is going to have to be over. Yeah. Oh, my Lord, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, for y'all, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. So listen, so with that being said, now, of course, Caleb, he's, uh, now you still yeah. going to stick with us, right? I mean, you ain't, yeah, once yeah. you go, I mean, you still going to be here. Yeah. Okay. At least for two years. Uh, can we have you at High Park or Side Tree or you know? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 hey, hey, we, we love the fam. Yeah. We we all family. Yeah. We all family. Okay. Uh, but uh, but now what 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 will be um uh, y'all's plan of action per se? Well, I tell you what, we'll start off first spiritually. What's going to be the plan of action? Uh, of course, you know what I'm saying. Caleb, he's he's still going to kind of be here chilling out with us. Uh, but it's going to be related to both of y'all. Your plan of action to stay spiritually hungry, uh, maintaining your relationship. Because Kashina, you know, like I said, she ain't going to have mom with her no more. Of course, she can pick up the phone, but yeah. it really won't be in direct physical communication there. So what's what's really going to be your plan of action? Like as in like with God or with family? Yeah, with God oh, first. Okay, okay. Yeah, spiritually um, wise, you know. Well, um, 
I feel like because I'm going, well, I forgot to say, but I'm going into biblical studies. That's my degree with a minor in um, biblical language. So I feel like I'm going to have the knowledge there, but I feel like it's going to take more than just reading a book and understanding the book. I feel like um, that, I feel like God's having to take me out of a county that I've always knew and kind of, I feel into a place where it's like emotion almost which is normal for a lot of people is sometimes we get stuck in emotion, but I feel like God's having to remove me from that motion and let me allow me to go to a place where it's unknown mm -hmm. so that I can one study his word, but also at the same time, he's going to allow me or he's going to give me things that is a revelation to me mm -hmm. and a re revelation for me to use in these last days. Like, you know, mm -hmm. so I just, um, my plan of action is for my faith walk to become stronger, not just in a study realm, mm -hmm. but like as in a, a relationship realm. Because sure. I feel like God's really calling us as a as, as in the youth to look more towards Him. Because I know for myself, it's kind of hard to talk to God in times like this because you're kind of wondering why God's pers forsaken us during graduation. Mm -hmm. um, he took our prom away. He took uh, graduation. It's kind of like God, why are you taking all these good memories? away from me i don't want to i don't want to look to a god that does that sometimes mm -hmm. but yeah god's saying you just don't know the full story yet yes, so like i feel like um that's where i'm at like god why did you not necessarily why but god what are you doing what are you doing and what's your purpose for me because mm -hmm. sometimes you ask god what's my purpose mm -hmm. but your purpose can fall to the ground because we don't live by flesh alone or Absolutely. by bread alone and Absolutely. So it's like, God, what is your purpose for me? Mm -hmm. God, what do you want me to do? And so I feel like that's the walk I'm going on to gain spiritually. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. And she said something very key. Not, and, and, and I think even what you're saying, Kashina, but because don't compare or equate study work right. for communion with God or, yeah. or the, the realm of right. devotion, really. So you still got to make time for just that personal edification right. there. Yes, yeah, so I think that's I think that's powerful, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, Kayla? Uh, <laughs> like bombs. <laughs> Bam. Uh, bombs. They dropping bombs. So, uh, so yeah, Kayla. So, uh, your plan of action to develop and continue to maintain your relationship with the Lord. Well, she kind of hit all the key points. So, I mean, but me personally, be trying to read more. Mm -hmm. It'd be start reading more and um, start praying more. Definitely trying to figure out what God has planned for me sure. and what I'm supposed to do in this world and help me look look on look and to see a future because right now it's kind of rough you know it's hard to look into the future and like what am I going to do mm -hmm. when all this stuff's going on right now mm -hmm. so yeah it mm -hmm. just be the pray and read more yeah. and just trying to speak to God more absolutely yeah awesome man awesome now let me ask you oh man now not emotionally wise how did y'all feel? Boy, what is this happened? What March? Letter part, mid part of March. How did how did y'all honestly feel? I mean, just just lay it all on the table. You know what I'm saying? COVID nineteen hit. I was uh, you know what I'm saying? School shut down, no graduation. Well, I mean, other than the whole drop by yeah. deal. You know? like, it was kind of like relieved, but not relieved. I was kind of like that sucks because I missed all these things, but sure. it's over now. I don't know. I was kind of mixed emotions. Like I was kind of happy the school year cut short. Mm. <laughs> but <laughs> they were like, "Yeah, give my hey, I'll take it. I'm out." Hey, Please. Yeah, but I still wanted to do like prom, sure, and yeah. graduation, cool stuff like that. Yeah. But this looks like I missed out on that. I was kind of a little bit mad at that, but that's about it. I mean, yeah. Other than that, I was pretty good. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Just but you can share. I think like I it was it wasn't the fact it was the fact of it was like okay well school got cut short like in a way but once it started hitting like April and May it was like oh god when's this gonna end oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so yeah. it was like like you ever going have you get to see your friends again yeah. before you graduate yeah. that kind of it was kind of like so when I seen my friends on graduation which we had a different graduation from them yeah. we got to be there with and take pictures and everything all together mm -hmm. they didn't get to do that <laughs> oh so wow. like. I got to see my friends for the last time, okay. and then I have another graduation right mm -hmm. after that. So, okay. yeah, y'all still think y'all still kind of keep close connection and contact with you? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think it was some of my friends are real. Yeah. Some of them are not. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Be, be, be very selective. Yeah. yeah. I got you. I got you. So, hey, now, so this is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask the last question as we uh, get ready to wrap this up, but uh, it's going to be a double loaded question. Uh, this next one here. So, tell me y'all's perspective, uh, the advice that you would give to the class of 2020 and also for the class of 2021. What kind of advice, uh, whether it be your navigating studies or, I mean, what would y'all? Um, we can just start. Okay. Well, I would say, like, um, it's going to be pretty tough when y'all start, well, when we all start school this coming year because we're probably going to be online. And that's probably going to be really tough. And mm -hmm. it's going to be hard focused on school, God, and, like, you have to be doing online school so you ain't going to be with other people your own age in the classrooms and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I would say just like stay on the right path, stay working hard in school, you know, because mm -hmm. it's going to be kind of rough for the next couple of months, probably. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 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 Man, y'all got a lot of distractions, though, for real. I mean, you got the crib, you got TV, social media. Yeah, we got a lot of distractions. I like, sure. Lord. Yeah. But still, at the same time, making sure you, you're very studious and you know what I'm saying? Study Use your time and, wisely. That's what I would say. Yeah. That's good, bro. Uh, I got to work on that. <laughs> Same here. I got, I feel like I got a lot to God. I mean, my God, it just, it's just all over the place. But yeah, that's good though, man. What about you, Kajay? Uh, I think my advice would be even like after this is like, you know, we're praying that it, it comes to a cease, it stops. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this upcoming school year for the class of 2020 and 2021 I feel like um, it's important now to take day to day more seriously. Like, Absolutely. we never knew that our last day was going to be our last day. That's good. And there was probably, I, pro I know I did. I was like, oh, this take is, is yeah, it's like, I really don't want to be here at school right now. Or mm -hmm. maybe one of my friends was aggravating me or something. It was just like, God, I just wish they would like, yeah. be quiet. But really it silenced them really right yeah, yeah. Because, and 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 you kind of miss those moments yeah. you know i mean um like just looking back at high school and all the memories we had like snapchat memories come up every once in a while and it's like us in the classroom acting crazy and everything mm -hmm. and it's just like yeah i miss that like yeah you know? sure. sure so i feel like um for the class of 2020 we understand how what it feels to be cut off at the last moment everybody else it was kind of like well school just got cut short but you know next year is definitely more of an event um but for them that's going into school i know it's nervous like am i even going to get to have a normal senior year at all mm -hmm. at least we got half a semester yeah. mm -hmm. you know awesome. but just be appreciative of um those little moments again if you get to go back to school be appreciative that you're able to be in a classroom not maybe not the same way but at least you're there and make the most out of it try to stay like i don't, I don't like using the word positive as much but try to be a light towards mm -hmm. me in, in a situation Absolutely. like that um that and also not just being a light towards me but also um try to make the most like if you see a person sitting by themselves i was bad for doing that like walking up to a random person and just sitting down and having a conversation with them. Try doing that more. I know it's more than mm. maybe like six feet apart. Yeah, like, yeah. It, like, where y'all six feet at? Oh, yeah. yeah. Try to like just make the most out of it. Oh, like, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's good, y'all. Man, they dropping bombs tonight, y'all. <laughs> Jesus. Like got my head swelling. <laughs> So, uh, but man, again, but I got one last question. We're getting ready to wrap up. Uh, but again, man, I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? We uh, we love y'all. If y'all need for whatever reason, hit us up. Just phone call away. But listen, my last question is this. Uh, Kashina, what year were you born? 2001. Kayla, what year were you born? 2002. This is my question. And y'all can, can go back and forth. What is it or how is it that you think God feels about this generation to introduce y'all in September 11th, 2001? Terrorism. You, you, were in, you, were, you were brought into this world during that time frame and you ended with COVID-19, a global pandemic. 
That's a deep question, little yeah. boy. I would say how is it that y'all think that God really? Yeah, ever how y'all want to kind of go back and forth, but that's the that's the question. So y'all talk to me. Well, how do y'all feel? I would just say like God put us in. He would let us be born in these times because He wanted us to lean more towards Him. He wanted us mm -hmm. to be better than past generation. I say the past generation was bad mm -hmm. or anything. Yeah. Just saying, He's just trying to make us better. And stronger and be with him more, make us stronger with him, mm -hmm. make us lean more against him, I guess. Sure, yeah, right, right. In a way, I kind of feel opposite from that, and let me yeah. tell you why. I have, a, I have a reason. I feel like not just God was trying to, um, well, it's not I feel opposite from that, but the Bible tells us about a chosen generation, absolutely, uh, the and for years. Um, you know, everybody's everybody's talking about this generation rising up. That's going to be a generation of just so much. It's just so much stuff, but has to have strength, which is what Caleb was talking about. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, um, I just think about that we are a generation uh, built upon. We're, we're we're very uh, vocal about Absolutely. just yeah. a lot of stuff. Just right. everything going on right now. Everybody has their opinion on everything, and it's just so much. So I feel like God is trying to show us in a way that, you know, um, okay, for instance, let's go back to the first question. You asked us what you think. Well, maybe it wasn't that exact first question, but you, you talked about purpose. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we were born in a time where um, our purpose has been abused, and I feel like God put us during a time where we were born. Moses, Moses was born during a time where his people were literally killed just because, um, just because really. But yet Moses, even though he was born that during that time, God allowed him to go through it. Mm -hmm. Yes, he brought him to a high power position, but he still allowed him to go through it. Yet, whenever he grew up, he led people out sure. of that situation. Absolutely. So I believe God put us in a, in a position where it's like he allowed us to be born, but he's also allowing us to overcome it. Why? Because I believe we have some people in our generation that's going to bring us out. Mm -hmm. Not just like them physically, but I believe that God's going to about to turn some saws into paws. Mm -hmm. And he's about to allow us to um, very much so be able to uh i don't even know how to put it really but he's about to start a lot him the bible tells us in the last day he pours out his spirit among all men mm -hmm. so i believe in this last day we don't know when jesus is coming back but i do believe that because there's so many vocal people and there's so much disruption that's happened between us that he's about to take some of our generation and he's about to raise some pause some fears mm -hmm. Absolutely. All these people knowing the last days when his spirit's poured out so that we can bring people out to the king, we'll do kingdom work mm -hmm. so that when Jesus comes, people will be ready. Mm -hmm. People will know God for who God is mm -hmm. because we are the testimony. Mm -hmm. We are the people that's been through it. Mm -hmm. We know how to overcome it. And that's through Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's and it is. I think it really t speaks to the testament of the, the resiliency. Yeah. Uh, like I seen, you know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all very vocal. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it came up in the air. Uh, but but I, I really I really think it's it's a realm of positioning. Uh, Kashina made a reference between Saul and Paul. Before before Christ came to put him on, on his purpose to, to reach the Gentiles, what's the first thing, thing he did on the road to Damascus? He blinded him. He was blind. So he had to be blind in order to be to be led. Yeah. And and so I really don't know what really God's gonna kind of bring out of y'all, man. Right. I know it's gonna be something great, oh, I supernatural. Just, I mean, in like uh, a physical realm, I was I actually have been studying Paul like here or the Book of Acts, as a matter of fact. And I never realized that. I don't know if you knew this, but the Bible tells us that Paul wasn't just for the Gentiles, but he was also a Jew. Yeah, yeah, he and, was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, even though we're born in a time. 
of all this stuff and maybe it's to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I believe our generation is going to lead some Jews. Mm -hmm. Not saying like in a physical matter they're going to be Jews, mm -hmm. but I'm saying sure. like a whole different realm. Sure, sure. And um, but also at the same time, like Jesus really is going to have to damask us on the way to Damascus. You get what I'm saying? He's literally going to have to take it off of us in order for us to... Take my mask off! <laughs> Jesus! So, the guy's going to be able to, like... Boy, y'all hear that? <laughs> Demask us and say that one more time, see? He's going to have to Damascus on the way to Damascus. <laughs> oh, okay, <boy. laughs> Caleb. Oh, your brain hurting? <laughs> yeah, I know I got the forehead. I know I got the forehead. I ain't going to lie to you. I got a, I got a noggin up here, but my God. <laughs> That's good, girl. That's good. Caleb, talk to me, man. God, I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> I'll just say that I guess when she says the mask us or whatever, she was saying probably like, I guess like you're gonna see people's true selves mm -hmm. pretty soon. There's gonna be a lot of people confronted and you're gonna see what people are really about mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's coming very shortly probably. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, and I and I really believe, man. I I I think even through this uh this whole pandemic, uh the road to revival, uh but I really believe, man, it's gonna uh, I I believe that very well that the next great awakening could be with this generation. I, uh, I, I want to be a part of it. I'm just a uh, hey Lord. What hey, I, I think there was a uh, Bishop Paul that's born. I don't know if you know him, but anyway, he's he's got a song. Lord, Lord, if there's anything I can do, if you can use me, just use me. I ain't got to be up here. You're just just a tad bit, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I just want to be in the mix there. But uh, but yeah, I, I I do believe it, man. I think God's got a got a great call on you guys' life. Yeah. Um. Like I said, man, church family will be praying for you. Um, and whatever way you need us, reach out to us, phone call away. Now, we might not be able to get to Kashina. Oh, might be able to rent my jet. Okay, you got a jet? Huh? No, no, no. Airplane? Uh, no. Aviation line? Road trip. You're on a road trip. <laughs> you, you know? You trip to the school house. <laughs> That's the school house. <laughs> uh, but uh, very quickly, man, y'all wrap up. Whatever you want to say, just, just talk. Praying for y'all mm -hmm. as a whole, and if y'all ever need either one of us, I'm pretty sure Caleb's just yeah. stares me. You, know, yeah. you can always call. I might be moving to Missouri, mm -hmm. but look, prayers are a one way line to Jesus. Yeah. And I'll pray for you. You pray for me. We'll pray for Caleb. Caleb, pray for y'all. We're just all in this together. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we in it together just like we were mm -hmm. for graduation. Yeah, so. <laughs> I believe you, absolutely. But y'all, hey, we appreciate it, man. But check this out. Don't forget, Sunday morning is our graduation service, 11 o'clock. Pastor K is going to be preaching. Uh, hey, man, we look forward to seeing y'all. And uh, let's celebrate the class of 2020. Peace. We love y'all.